Welcome to this instructional video on how to make a tetrode. We're going to get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is cut a piece of the tetrode. So here we have a spool that contains the wire you will be using. It is very thin, as you can see, and it bends easily, so you're going to want to be delicate and use light motions when unraveling. Once you do so, you're going to want to get the length to be about the length that we have set up. It's approximately two 8.5 by 11 pieces of paper next to one another in a portrait landscape. That's basically 22 to 24 inches should suffice if you don't have the paper in front of you. You're going to want to take these small, fine scissors here and cut the wire. Next, you're going to want to take the tape and rip or cut it off a piece. Place the tape over one edge of the wire and then move the tape over the other end of the tetrode wire. Be gentle in moving it because again, it does bend easily. If you do notice a bend at this point or any other point, as frustrating as it sounds, you do want to start over because it is important the final tetrode not be bent to ensure maximum efficiency. Next, you're going to want to take this spray bottle of ethanol and spray the tetrode a few times. Then, run your fingers down the wire, smoothing it down. Again, be very careful not to pull on the wire. After this step, at the bottom, there's going to be a loop. You're going to want to take the scissors and cut at the very tip of that loop. Again, smooth out the wire. It would be best now to lay the wire down again, and you're going to do the same thing where you fold one end over the other. But this time, you're going to crisscross one end over the other. It does not have to be exaggerated, but if you lay them this way even slightly, it will make it easier when we spin them later. Again, you should smooth it out and have the loop at the bottom. Now, you're going to take scissors and cut the tip under the tape. Be very careful. Use forceps to lift the wire a little bit and insert the end you just cut into the clip as shown here. You want to put the end in enough so that it will not fall out when the whole system itself is hung and spinning, but not too much that it will bend at the very end from folding over itself. Now move over here to the spin and heat station. You're going to want to hang the tetrode by the loop. This brown line has been marked here, so you know that this is where the loop should be. Now you're going to spin the wire to make the actual tetrode. Turn on the spinner to about a level of 3 or 4. If the wire does not spin, do not increase the speed, as this could cause the wire to fall off and bend. Rather, try adjusting the level of how high and how low the clip is from the base. So now you're going to let it spin. You'll be able to see it. When it gets close to the top, slowly shut off the spinner and make sure the clip and wire do not start spinning in the opposite direction once you stop it. Next, you're going to want to heat the wire so it does not unfold once taken off the clip. Grab a heating gun and you're going to make slow, repetitive motions up and down. It can depend on the person heating the wire, the speed they heat at, and the gun they are using. But if you're using this apparatus shown here, you're going to move up and down about 20 times. Up is one, down is one. After this step, you're going to remove the clip at the bottom and then cut the very tip of the loop again like you did earlier. At this point, woohoo, you basically have a tetrode. You'll have to do some final checks to make sure it was heated enough or not heated too much. Using your eyes, you can get a good idea if the tetrode itself is heated enough because it should not be limp or bending as you hold it. It should be pretty stiff. You'll also want to examine it under the microscope to make sure it is not unraveling or was not heated too much so that it is burned. So there you have it, and good luck!